Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is also busy rolling out the optional bug fix update for Windows 11 21H2, which is the original release of Windows 11. As we can see, that's KB5030301, which they made available yesterday on the 26th of September, which was late yesterday in my region. And the OS build is upgraded to 22,000.2482, if you do decide to install the update because it is optional. Now one or two things just to take note of before we have a look at what is new with this latest bug fix update. Very important, this is the final optional update that the original release version 21H2 of Windows 11 will be receiving. So Microsoft says that after September the 26th, 2023, there will no longer be optional non-security preview releases for Windows 11 version 21H2. So just take note of that. So this is the last and final bug fix update um, that version 21H2 will be getting. Then something else to take note of, as I've posted previously, Microsoft is busy ending support for Windows 11 21H2. So next month on the 10th, which is Patch Tuesday, some versions of Windows 11 version 21H2 will reach end of service or also as it's known end of support on that date and those versions are Home Pro, Pro Education and Pro for Workstation and after uh, the 10th next month which will be your final Patch Tuesday security updates rolling out those devices will not receive monthly security and quality updates so as mentioned the 20th, 26th of September, this is your last bug fix update. And the 10th, after that date, the original release version 21H2 of Windows 11 is out of service. It's no longer supported. So just take note of that. So you need to make a plan if you are running version 21H2 and upgrade to version 22H2. Now the key highlights for this bug fix update are that it addresses an issue that affects a Microsoft Excel Apparently, it stopped responding when you were trying to share a file as a PDF in Outlook. Now, this is a non-security update, which does roll out numerous quality improvements and bug fixes to version 21H2. So if you do want to stick around, uh, the update completes the work to comply with the GB18030-2022 requirements. And that's basically listed as a new feature. Then it also supports daylight saving time changes in Greenland. It addresses an issue that affects an application virtualization environment. Uh, there are two printer fixes rolling out, one for print to PDF and another for USB printers. And those are common. Microsoft does roll out printer uh, bug fixes in most of their optional bug fix updates. And um, it also addresses an issue that might make Windows stop responding when using OneDrive. And that is an issue that might occur if you use OneDrive files that are compressed by NTFS. And there's a memory leak issue that's been fixed when copying and moving files, which is a bit of a performance boost. And if you did experience high memory usage while copying and moving a file, then apparently Microsoft says that that has been addressed. So that's more or less what's new. Uh, in KB5030301, now running out for the original release of Windows 11 version 21H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.